Well, boys, today's the day. We're finally gonna go do some mudding, maybe a little bit of rock crawling, all that good stuff. We've got a big lifted F-350 on a wide body kit. This thing is crazy. I can't wait to take it out and see how it does. Along with that, we got a Ford Bronco that uh, is, of course, well, all lifted up. And then a Dodge Power Wagon on some uh, big old TIS rims, along with some BF Goodridge tires. So it should be a good trip. By the way, if you guys enjoyed today's video, help me out by giving that like button a little tap. It helps out the video a ton, and I appreciate it so much. And while you're down there, if you're not subscribed, yet subscribe and help make videos just like this so if you want to see more you know the button's down there anyway we're gonna get everything loaded up here and head on up into the mountains there where there's some new trails i want to go check them out see how they are and i thought hey why not bring along some of the biggest vehicles we got I guess they're not the biggest, but it should do the job. All right, everything's loaded up. Let's get the heck out of here. Ford is uh, squatting just a little bit, but we got airbags in the back, so we should be okay. Everything's already fueled up here, so we shouldn't even have to go grab any diesel or gas, so just got to make the trip up there. No cap, no stop. Hill. There was just a sign for a hill there. It's not like I can see it right in front of me. Uh-oh. Someone already failed. Dang, G-Wagons. So the place we're headed up to here, I'm not even too sure if this truck is going to be able to tow the trailer up there, but hey, we'll give her a shot. It's a Ford. We should be fine. Hey, come on now. Out of the way. I'm trying to pull a trailer through here. Walking on the road. All right, here we are. Now the question is, can we off-road out here legally? I'm not entirely sure. Are we still going to? Yeah. We'll just leave the trailer here for now because I want to take this thing out and give it a try. Uh-oh, we might have a Karen walking up to us here. I'm out of here. So from what I've heard, there's some pretty sweet trails out here along with some cool rock climbs and all that. So just got to find them. And I think that's maybe easier said than done. Oh, man. Cool place to drive through. That's for sure. Okay, I think this is part of the trail over here. So I'm pretty sure it's more meant for Jeeps out here. But we're going to take a big truck through and see how it does. I'm sure we'll be fine. Question is, does this have the suspension to handle it? So far, yes. Look at the flex on this. It's actually pretty dang good. To be honest, this thing's more of a show truck, but we'll make a rock climbing truck out of it soon. Don't know until you try, I guess. Okay, we might have hit a sign. That, uh, I mean, we did not hit a sign. Screw the signs. We're just gonna, yep, there we go. Driving through a campground. Pretty sure we're not supposed to be up here. Now, where's the mud at? I was told there was mud back through here, and so far, I'm not seeing a whole lot. Mostly just forest and rocks. Aha, this is where we're supposed to be at. Oh boy, I don't know if the Ford's gonna make it up this. Look how steep that gets. We'll give it our best shot, though. Uh, you know what? We might be okay. In cab view is not looking too promising, though. It's got the traction, that's for sure. It's just running a little low on clearance. That's about all. Oh, boy. I don't want to fall off that if I can help it. I don't know how well the Ford Bronco is going to do through here because it is a tall vehicle and does not have very wide tires. Okay, please explain how I'm supposed to get through this. Very carefully, I guess. Oh, yeah. We got her. Cones? You're really putting cones through here? Screw your cones. Ooh. Ooh, going down this, this way. It's a little sketchy. I want to try to go back up this. Come on, brakes. Work. Don't fail me now. Man, this is steep. Okay, well, we're about down it. I think we got to try to go the other way around. Rough road. Now, that looks pretty flat and smooth to me. I suppose we could always just go off the trail and right up the uh, hill there, but what fun is that? Ooh, we're slipping a little bit. We're slipping. Oh, back down. Come on now. Come on now, Ford. Oh, we're, we're, oh, okay. Okay. Yep. Uh, there it goes. Got it. Man, I'm getting my nice show truck all dirty. Again, screw the cones. Who needs your cones? In fact, you know what? Here's what I think, you, here's what I think of your signs. Okay. Yeah. There it goes. Down the hill. Okay, we ain't done just yet. I'm sure there's more through here. And this is someone's lumber yard. Okay, wrong way. I think the Ford Bronco should be able to manage most of this, but we'll see. So I was checking on my GPS up ahead here, and apparently there's a road that goes all the way down through here. I'm not sure what it entails. Apparently a lot of rocks. Hopefully some mud. So we'll see how this goes. There's a good chance we get stuck going through here, and then we got to walk all the way back. And I know we're a solid, like, 30 minutes away from the rest of the uh, vehicles there. Oh, there is some mud. Okay, now we're talking. I gotta try bringing a side-by-side -side through this. Now that would be fun. My suspension is gonna be completely shot after this. Okay, let's be careful now. Do not get hung up. Bounces over to anything and everything. Oh, yeah. This this looks perfectly, perfectly great to drive through. This looks like the Spring Demolisher 3000 over here. Who sunk their car down here? Care to explain that one? Not to mention there's a freaking ladder right there. Who brought a ladder? Okay, yeah, this is this is great. How did they even manage to get their car in there? Oh, we're spinning now. Okay, this this may be the end of the line for the Ford. Over fast? Nope, not even. I think it's caught on the axle. Oh, never mind. 
Oh boy, this is gonna get rough. Say goodbye to my nice rockers. Tire rub, just a little bit. I don't know how far this goes. Wait a second. Where does that bridge go? Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's, let's back this up. Where does the bridge go? To the rocks? Is that where it goes? There's not even a road here. There's really not. Maybe there's a little bit of one. Oh no, no, heck. Heck no, heck no. Nope, we're gonna back that one up. Some dude in a Toyota Tacoma is gonna be like, yeah, yeah, my truck can make it through there, no problem. Yeah, I don't think so, bud. But they'll still swear by it. Okay, Bronco secured. Get off the road. I know I'm driving through a campground, but that's besides the point, man. Come on now, out of my way. See, this one's got the Raptor motor in it, so at least it has a little more power. We'll see if the Ford has to rescue this one, which, uh, yeah, I'm gonna say it's about a 50-50 chance right now. Well, it's a good thing I'm not a box truck, I guess. Okay, Bronco, do better than your cousin, the Jeep. You know what? I kind of want a Ford Bronco. So if this video gets a hundred thousand likes a hundred thousand likes I will legitimately go buy a Ford Bronco in real life if it gets a hundred thousand likes. rough road Sounds like the road for me. So yeah, as I said before this Bronco has amazing clearance But uh, it might be a little tippy because the tires aren't as wide But the clearance is nuts on this thing. Like it's so good. It doesn't even have a front drive shaft That's a little worrying. Okay. I might have spoke too soon on the clearance Never mind. See, this is where I get a little worried. Is in situations like this where we could tip. But no, we're good. We're good. So far. I still want to take the dodge through here, but I don't know. Sun's going down, so we're going to have to make this run quick. We're going to go down this, and then we're going to try go back up it to see how it does. I think we always take these trails backwards, but whatever. Let me just whip a quick donut here. Never mind. Into a tree. Good thing I got that bumper. The Bronco's got power, but does it have enough? And don't hit back on me now. Oh, 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 no. Okay, we're good. We're good. Whew. Well, dang. Okay, not bad. You know what I just realized in the entire time that I was packing for this trip? I did not manage to pack a single tow rope. I mean, this thing's got a winch, but yeah, I don't know. The trails through here are immaculate. I'm loving them. Easy now. Easy. Gotta take it slow. I was gonna attempt to go through that container there, but I think this thing's a little too tall. Okay, over the bit where the Ford almost got stuck. Oh no, we're good. Okay, this is what worries me here. Yes, it's got flex. Does it have enough? Okay, well, this was just too easy for the Ford Bronco. We got to turn around here. Never mind. There's still some more up there. Jump it. Woo okay, yep. Uh, it jumps. But we're going back. Wait a second. I was going to say, can we drive up on that? But I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, Um. don't ask me how I did this. Because I I was playing around. Okay, I was playing around in here and uh, <laughs> I kind of jumped over this. And now I can't get off of it. Um... Oh, maybe I can. Oh, okay, but never mind. We're good. We're good. Okay, now I screwed up. <laughs> I tried to flex on the container, and the container flexed back. Um, walking back, I guess now. Joke's on you, container. I got more than one vehicle. Now let's go rescue it. Oh, I hit that sign. All right. So I thought I'd take a shortcut with this thing. Yeah, I ended up here. Not sure how I'm going to get down. I'll figure it out eventually, though. Good news. We made it down. I don't know if this truck can handle, uh... Some of the other beating we put the truck through, but we'll try to just push this thing out of the way. I'll push it back on its wheels. Oh, oh, almost. Almost. I think it's got a bumper on it. There we go. We got it. Okay, I guess we'll take this thing back and then we'll go grab uh, the Bronco again. We got a little bit of a drive and we're running out of daylight here, so we better get going. I don't know how well the Dodge can handle this. It's a standard, so you pretty much got to stay in first the entire time or else you bog right down. And it's not as lifted as the other ones, so it can't really handle all this. I mean, I pumped the airbags all the way up, so we'll see how that goes. Okay, I think we made her about to the end. We got one last little part left, and then we're headed back to the trailer. We did it. Dodge made it through, and I missed my turn. Okay, back we go. But I think that's going to conclude our trip for today. We're going to head back and try to get everything on the trailer. That should be fun. But let me know down in the comments if you guys want me to do this again, or maybe with some of the guys. But hope you all enjoyed. Subscribe, and goodbye.